right, 2024 just started about 25 days ago. So I think this would be the perfect time to give my opinion about the 15 Lego sets that I think will be retiring in 2024. So before we get started, please subscribe to the bell notification and also in this video. If you like this video, let's get started. All right, so if you look up on these shelves, I got about 60% of the Lego sets that I think will be retiring. Half of these I'm planning to resell and half of these I'm planning to build. For an example, I'm planning to build the Polaroid, possibly today for another video that will be coming out in a few days, or I'll have to think of another video about that post. So speaking of that, please comment down any videos, ideas, any ideas of videos you think would be great for this channel. So now let's go back to this. Let's start on the bottom row. So this late set did come out a little while ago. This is the Harry Potter Weasley uh, shop. If you have Diagon Alley, the big set, it's like 400 something dollars. This is in it. But this is one of my favorite Lego sets for Harry Potter. So I had to get my hands on it. I was doing some research about it last night. And a lot of people are thinking this Lego set will retire sometime this year. I'm, I don't have an exact date, but probably in close to December where people can order a lot of these and they'll just retire. So that's that. Uh, I forget how much this is. I'm pretty sure it's about somewhere around 80 to 120. I think it's about $90. It's a great one uh, to resell. It'll probably go up by like $50. Now let's start down here. So if you are not a big Lego fan, or if you've not been on Lego for a while, there are two Christmas Lego sets. There's a Christmas Village and a Christmas Lodge. Something Lodge, I've no idea how to pronounce it, but so I really do think this will be retiring, but I was doing some research about the Christmas Village and it has been on Lego for about three years. So that one will definitely be retiring sometime this year. So I, had to try to order one. It should be getting here, hopefully this week or next week. You do have to back order it. They might have a big uh, stock of them now. I haven't checked on that later set in a while, but here is the lodge. I really do think, uh, so typically Lego has two Christmas sets. The new one, the fancy one, which is this, usually stays for one year for an example the santa's visit and some of the gingerbread houses those if you if you've been collecting lego sets for a while or if you're just not starting the christmas sets are an extremely good thing to invest in they really go up in price after they are retired then we got a Jurassic park down here i am trying to resell that but i'm not planning for that to go out this year. These are a pretty newer set. Now let's go on the Disney 100 sets. So I'm not planning for these to go out anytime soon either. They are actually brand new this month. Definitely gonna have to build those for fun. But now for the Disney 100 stuff. I really do think I was doing a lot of research this week thinking about the sets that will go out and I really think Disney 100 sets will go out. So we got the up house up here. That is one I definitely think is going to be going out sometime soon. I do think this will go out, but it is a really, really popular set. So Lego might keep it a little bit longer after Disney 100 is over with. So we're going to put that right there and we got the mini series, the Haunted Mansion, right there. So this Lego set is actually for the 50th for Walt Disney, or for uh, Disney World. So there, that's the Disney Castle, and then this just arrived in the mail. It's, in, it's the palace, and then we got 
the mini castle on Ariel, Ariel's castle. So that's the mini series. I'm still trying to decide on what's going to go out. I do feel like, so it is a little bit weird with how Lego does it, which gets me a little bit confused because this came out a while ago. This came out a while ago. This has been on Lego for a while. And this Lego like set is brand new. So how it looks right now, it just looks like Lego's just gonna keep constantly expanding their um, mini series. So that'll be extremely exciting. I am trying to load up on sets. If you don't know, the Haunted Mansion is on sale on Lego right now. So if you wanna load up on those, you can go get them there. So let's put all these back. And then, yeah. So if I haven't said yet, I have about 60% of the Legos I'm planning, I, I think are going to be retiring this year. So now I think I should tell you guys one of the sets I really do think will be retiring this year. If you go on Lego and search gaming. So when you search that, it comes up with about five Lego sets, the uh, Pac-Man, Nintendo, Nintendo, and then I forget this other name. Um, it's newer, but the one we are gonna be focusing on today is the Nintendo. That set has been out on Lego for a few years now, and it is about time for them to be retiring it this year. If you do search retiring Lego sets in 2024, a lot of people do think that Lego set is retiring too. So that'll be interesting to see if it does. But now talking about other sets, to everyone who's really into like Jurassic Park and stuff, there, there is a newer set, which I think is extremely cool. It's the T-Rex uh, fossil skull in the footprint, but up here are the bigger sets. So we got the visitor center. This is a little bit of an older set, but I don't think it's old enough for them to be retiring it. I do feel like if they retire it this year, it will be towards the end, somewhere around December or October. Let's put that up here. And then we're going to push that there. If you do like Lego City, there are a lot of sets that probably will be retiring this year. I've not done a lot of research on Lego City. I'm mainly focusing on DC 100 stuff right now and other stuff. Ooh, and other stuff. So there are some pretty cool sets like the police station up here. I've not done much research on that one yet. I've, I'm assuming it is about a year old or longer, so around two years, so that one might be retiring this year. I just need to do a lot more research on that one. But I was doing some research last night on this top one. If I can reach it, which is the, ooh, where is the name? <laughs> just come up with something well it's probably somewhere up here I'm just not seeing it right now this is the Indiana Jones uh let's just call it the ball set so in the beginning of the movie that he has to go through like an obstacle course to try to get to the treasure this is that Lego set this Lego set there is a new movie that just came out about this I don't really know how popular that is but this Lego set probably will most likely go up in price a lot. So this is, I forget how much it is. I think it's, I know it's over a hundred. I think it's about $130 to get it off of Lego. If you do want to get it a little bit cheaper, I'm pretty sure Walmart has it a little bit cheaper. I don't know about anymore. They did have it on a deal about two weeks ago. Haven't checked it lately, but they probably do still have it. Let's put that up there. Oh yeah. We also got, I don't, don't think I can reach that. So let's just move this camera up. We 
got the Home Alone sets all the way right there. That will most likely be retiring this year. And I really do think that one will be one of the biggest reselling and Lego sets for 2024. So let's put that up here. And yeah, so another one is, so for the last one, I think we're getting close. I'm not really keeping count anymore, but I have one more Lego set. I really do feel like will be retiring this year. If you do go on lego.com, there is a Hogwarts train. There's two actually. There's a newer one and there's an old one. There's a really big one and there's a, <laughs> and there's a little more uh, Lego set. The little one is newer. I don't really know how new it is. I just think it's, yeah. So the big one is what I really do think will be retiring. I was doing some research on that too last night and I don't really, I didn't research how old it is, but a lot of people were predicting that one to go out this year. So yeah, also, I'm saying also a lot too. So if you guys have any other displays of things I should do, like adding probably a few more shelves over here, adding some LED lights, please comment that down. This is an video, so please subscribe hit the button because you're awesome. It's another video. Like this video. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Peace.